As one of Berkeley's most popular study destinations, Moffitt Library underwent a full architectural renovation of the fourth and fifth floors in 2016, attracting around 7,500 students a day. However, increased traffic has also given rise to a host of issues, the largest of which include seat availability, misuse of library property, and poor library practices. In particular, displaced chairs and random items meant to save seats are becoming more and more commonplace. At the moment, Moffitt's situation is characterized by a lack of availability, awareness, and accountability. Upon entering Moffitt, a digital kiosk will be available to address seating availability and resource awareness. The kiosk will display a running count of open seats at any given moment. Using real-time sensors, the number of available seats will be updated as soon as a student walks through the library gates. The kiosk will also streamline the process for checking out equipment such as laptops, wiper markers, frisbees, and everything else. During peak hours, Students can easily combat seat shortages by checking out new resources such as seat cushions and lap desks for a comfortable seated workspace on the floor. A new resource available to students are table dividers. Divider clips are fastened onto the edges of tables, providing an enclosed space for students to focus on their individual work and avoid neighboring distractions. Students can also write on them like a whiteboard and jot down their ideas as they work. To promote awareness of amenities offered by the library, as well as student accountability, we propose a library campaign of signs, posters, and flyers intended to educate patrons about how the library, its resources, and the students within it should be treated. The content of this initiative will include information about available services as well as recommended library etiquette. Our informational campaign provides a low-cost, high-impact solution using inexpensive materials. In preparation for the future, we would like to collaborate with GBO leaders and staff to educate incoming freshmen about library resources and practices during their tours. In this way, the next generation of students will be primed to change Moffitt Library into a place that fosters a comfortable, collaborative, and connected environment. After all, this is not your typical library. Many Berkeley students are aware of the running joke of trying to find a seat in Moffitt to study. We've seen the memes and heard the complaints. Too many people, seat saving, and students feeling uncomfortable taking seats. Some students don't even feel welcome coming to Moffitt. Now as funny as the memes are, this is a real problem in our community and campus culture that needs to be addressed. So how can we promote and foster community and inclusivity in Moffitt? The first step to fixing this issue is building awareness and changing the culture through each individual. Students think the solution is as simple as buying more chairs, but many are unaware of the strict fire code regulations that prevent this quick fix. Berkeley librarians have known about this issue, but many students don't know the depth of it. Awareness can be achieved through a variety of student-led campaigns. PSA videos can be circulated through Moffitt's Facebook page, possibly partnering with CalTV. Additionally, funny memes that will draw students' attention posted around the library can promote community and discourage negative behaviors. These are subtle yet powerful tools that can place the responsibility on the person to foster a sense of inclusion. You never know, you could find your soulmate by welcoming someone to sit next to you. On top of changing the campus mentality, we can make structural changes to the library to ensure that people feel more comfortable studying here. To address the shortage of chairs, we can add standing tables. Studies have shown that they are beneficial to your health, posture, mood, and energy. Not only that, 
but standing tables also optimize the number of students who can use each one. This can increase collaboration and encourage students to feel welcomed. Another reason students have negative attitudes towards Moffitt is overcrowding. People spend precious study time looking for seats and wind up sitting on the floor. If we can divert traffic to other libraries, it'll decrease the competition over finding seats and compel students across campus to be more welcoming about sharing table space. A way to streamline the search for a study space is to introduce a Berkeley Library app in partnership with the Student Technology Services. The app will show the location and activity levels of each library on campus, pulling data from the existing gate counters. In the future, with improved technology, heat maps of each floor can be integrated to show students where there is open space. So this three-step initiative of awareness, structural renovations, and technological solutions will help to make Moffitt a more inclusive community where no scholar feels excluded. Right? Together, we can work to make Moffitt a place where all Feel well. For the past two years, UC Berkeley students have been piling into Moffitt's newly renovated fourth and fifth floors for its bright natural lighting, its relaxed food and drink policy, and its 24-hour access. However, the new renovations have created a new demand for Moffitt seating that the library cannot immediately address. Oftentimes people are frustrated because they feel like there are empty seats, but they're reserved with a notebook or a sweatshirt or something. And it's hard to tell if someone's going to the bathroom for five minutes and saving their seat or if that stuff has been there for 10 hours. I talk to a lot of my friends and they feel like they can't take a 20 minute study break to go outside, go for a walk or get a coffee because if they leave Moffitt, their spot will be taken. And so I think people would all feel a lot more comfortable if there were policies in place in Moffitt that um, help foster a more thoughtful and mindful um, community. That is why we are rolling out a new initiative called Mindfulness at Moffitt. Mindfulness to me means being part of a greater community and having respect for your peers and your students around you. Mindfulness at Moffitt will introduce a program called Bear Timer. Bear Timer allows students who need a study break the opportunity to hold their seat for up to 50 minutes. This allows students to practice personal mindfulness by taking a study break, but also mindfulness toward their peers because no one will be able to reserve a seat for longer than 50 minutes. The student at the service desk will set the timer for you for up to 50 minutes. Place the timer on your seat and enjoy your study break. Go outside, take a walk, your mental health comes first. Make sure you come back in time. Once the timer runs out, your desk is up for grabs. If you see a timer with an expired time or a spot without a timer, feel free to carefully move that person's possessions and the timer to the side or underneath the table. You're now welcome to use their seat. It's okay to move it if you move it mindfully. We want to remind students to take care of themselves and be mindful of others so that everyone has the opportunity to study at Moffitt. So don't forget... Need a timeout? Get a timer. You see? It's called Berkeley Mobile. You guys should download it. Berkeley Mobile? <laughs> I'll check it out. Oh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll download this. You can check out how busy the libraries are in real time and see what they have to offer. Let's take a look right now. Oh, look, Moffitt's yellow. That means it's moderately busy. We might be able to find some seats. Wow, I never knew we had so many libraries. Moffitt actually has a makerspace. That's so crazy. 
Hey look, East Asian is uh, green. I think I'm gonna go over there and check it out. See you. Later, man. Looks good. <laughs> That's super cool. I didn't know we had that. Hey y'all, um, is anyone sitting here? Well, I'm not sure actually. Hmm, maybe they forgot their stuff here. We should go return it to the Lost and Found. You know what? That sign says you're right. Let's let's, let's do go. it. Let's see, Lost and Found, Lost and Found. Right here. Oh, nice. First, we propose an expansion of ASCC's existing app, Berkeley Mobile. This app will use real-time entry and exit data to display occupancy levels across campus libraries. It will also provide in-depth information about resources offered at every library, such as makerspaces, rest zones, printing services, and more. Our second idea is for Moffitt Library to rent out lab desks when there's limited space for students. This will hopefully lead to more inclusivity as it provides more workspaces without increasing the seat count. Lastly, we want to promote the usage of Moffitt's Lost and Found. In order to address the issue of students leaving belongings to save seats, they will be encouraged by helpful signage directing them to move items that are left unattended to the Lost and Found. Hashtag, Hashtag fun fellows. a feeling of community and inclusivity at Moffitt. So there are two big things that we need to consider when discussing Moffitt design. There are two large communities that are used in this space. One, um, there are students who are looking to collaborate, work with others, um, and use the space for that kind of work study group dynamic. On the other hand, there are students who are seeking to find individual spaces where they can study without distraction. To accommodate for these seemingly conflicting needs, we developed something called the iPod, or the Individual Pull-Up Divider. So the idea behind the iPod is that it's a pull-up divider that can be easily integrated into tabletop surfaces so they don't disrupt the smoothness of the tabletops, so they're easy to, so the tables can still be used for group dynamic purposes, but also if an individual wants to just occupy a little bit of space by themselves, they can simply pull up the divider and indicate that the rest of the space is open to be used by others. So if you're not ready to commit to the iPod just yet, we do have two simple short-term solutions that can help alleviate these problems. So for one, students who are seeking privacy should be able to check out privacy shields from the front desk. And these are often acrylic shields that can be installed and uninstalled really easily to give students the privacy they need. And they can often be bought in bulk from office retailers. Um, furthermore, students who are seeking to make the most out of the existing space at Moffitt should be able to check out lap desks. And these are portable desks that uh, make it really easy to work even if you don't have a formal desk. These can also be taken out to the Glade, for example, so you want to catch some fresh air while you're working on your problem sets or do some comfortable coding. So the iPod's great, but what if you can't even find a space at Moffitt? We get it. Finding a space in Moffitt is hard. Moffitt's great. But you know where else is great? Every other library on campus. Now, you could go to the library website to find open hours, but most students don't even know you can do that. So for all us phone addicts, introduce Impair Spots, your one-stop app for library details designed to redirect traffic to other welcome spaces. You can see what libraries are open, how many students are in each library, and even what library environment is the best fit for your study habits. For all you obsessive planners, that means you'll know where to go before you even leave your house. 
No more wandering around for an hour, wondering if that jacket on that chair belongs to a person or simply lives there. This info will also be available on the TV displays in Moffitt. Fair spots will also have a forum where students can post by library if they are looking for people to work with. This way, Moffitt becomes an inclusive, collaborative space. But what if we want to go the extra mile? Encouraging departments to facilitate places for department-specific advising and club meetings means that there's more space in Moffitt for everyone to feel welcome to work together. After all, what is suffering at Berkeley without others to suffer with? Following recent renovations, Moffitt has become a popular study spot among Berkeley students. Because of this recent boom in popularity, space has become limited. Students have reported issues related to a lack of inclusivity and community. Students are already stressed out about work and having to wander the library to search for an open seat adds additional unnecessary stress. This competitive atmosphere has led students to participate in non-inclusive behaviors, such as long-term seat saving, which only perpetuates the problem. The space itself is not the issue. Members of this year's incoming class describe the empty study space as one that is approachable and comfortable. The problem is a people problem. Solutions to this problem would both improve current user satisfaction as well as increase the number of users. In the short term, efforts can be made to liven up the space as it exists now. These solutions are easy to implement and would place minimal additional burden on library staff. People are more likely to feel included if they have access to what they need when they need it. The improvements will make the space more comfortable for students. Lab desks can make it easier for students to adapt the space to their own needs. Moving computers from the fourth and fifth floors to the first floor will open up more desk space, which meets a known demand. Adding a snack station to the upper floors can reduce non-inclusive behaviors and stress. Students must leave Moffitt to get hot food and drink, forcing them to save seats for extended periods of time. Including a microwave and hot water dispenser in the study space can help solve this problem. Maintenance of the space will be manageable. Cleaning an electric kettle is stupid easy, according to library student workers. Some students feel intimidated approaching others who appear to be saving seats. Posting visual cues, such as don't be afraid to ask posters, could help address the non-inclusive environment that currently exists. Students can be confident that Moffat is a safe space for standing up for themselves and their studying needs. Short-term solutions focused on making the current space more comfortable, whereas longer-term solutions should work towards optimizing library occupancy. Not knowing if there's available study space deters students from going to Moffitt. By implementing real-time occupancy tracking in the library, students will be able to monitor space availability remotely, removing the stress of having to look for an open seat. Tracking Moffitt's occupancy levels would be an attainable and impactful solution that uses technology already available to the facility. The university currently pays for a traffic monitoring system that tracks students as they enter and exit the library. The hardware is packaged with a secure cloud-based data reporting platform that can be used to view real-time occupancy levels. The open availability of this information would reduce student stress over wasting time looking for a seat. Information can be posted on the library website for remote viewing, as well as the display monitors facing facility entrances. Students can make more informed decisions on when and where to study when information on non-peak hours becomes publicly available. This application can also improve the efficiency of library staff. Analytics can show when to allocate student employee hours to reflect popular times. Statistics on building occupancy levels can also help evacuation efforts in the event of an emergency. If the initial Moffitt tracking project is successful, the effort could be expanded within Moffitt by individual floors and to other libraries in the UC Berkeley network. Moffitt has amazing potential as a library. With these changes, we believe that Moffitt can foster a sense of community and inclusivity within the student body. I like Moffitt. Moffitt is very bright and I like how open the space is. It feels like it's very collaborative. More like approachable, a more approachable space. More comfortable. Yeah, yeah more comfortable. And just felt like a lot more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, yeah, I'll consider myself like coming here to study. As well. My ideal library is Moffitt.